Okay, today we're going to make, well it could be a robin, it could be a, a bird, I don't know what you want to call it, and I've just realised i actually got to have it this way up. I've done this video once already and realised that the camera's the wrong way around. So I'm going to have to try and make everything upside down so you can see what I'm doing. So today what we're going to do is going to make a robin. And we need to punch out the stomach. Probably about two inch stomach. Then we're going to need to have a head, which is one and three eighths. So you're going to need that, that. Going to need a scalloped oval, which came from that. Also going to need to have a scalloped circle, which will be used, just a small part of it, for the beak. And for the stomach, I use some corrugated card on this one. But for this, I'm just going to use plain red, and it's the same size as the head. And the final thing you're going to need, which makes the wings, is another scallop one. Now, at this point, you could ink the edges, and all I've done to do that is to use the close to cocoa, dab a bit of, this is just a makeup sponge, and then just run it around, oh, big splodge there, doesn't matter, run it around like that. I'm not going to do that, otherwise we'll do it all day. So, first thing you need to do is to cut in half that one, and this makes the wings. And you could at this point either poke some holes in it, like so. I have to remember to do this all upside down in a minute. Might as well do the other one as soon as we're here. Or what you could do, like I did on the other one, was just to run some white pen or any colour you fancy just around each of the scallops at the end. Right, so once you've done that, get your circle and glue. Right, I will do it my way up and then turn it, because otherwise it's just going to be a complete disaster. So just position them like so. So then you've got your wings. You could also do ink the edges so it shows up a bit better. Right, the next thing you're going to need to do is to make the feet. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need to have a this, this scalloped oval. You could use a circle, which I did for that one there, but it kind of makes more of a kind of a foot shape. So what you're doing, just the first three little notches just on either end of it, like so, just to make the feet. One foot's actually bigger than the other. Right, let's take those on. Like so. And get the stomach. Oh, foot's come off. Oh, I need to, it's upside down again, isn't it? So that's your feet bit done. So now with the stomach, I'm going, I use dimensionals just to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. It was organised first time I did this round. Now it's just a complete disaster and I can't find anything that I need. Anyway, you can put dimensionals on for the sake of not having to do the whole video again. I'm going to stick the stomach on without the dimensionals. Like so. Right, and then for the face, again, ink around the edges if you so wish. I'm going to need to have um, 
I'm going to use a little hole punch for this. Two black circles. Take the eyes on. I don't want anything too much of a gluey mess. Right, then, right, for the beak, what you need to do is just take one section of the scallop and just cut it out. And then I kind of put it over a rakish angle. Get your glue. Okay, and there it is. And what you at this point you can do is you can either leave it, it is, or I can't do this upside down, or just put a little bit of white to define the eyes. You can do a little bit of white on the feet, and a bit of a white. Up. That's really up to you at this point what you do. So, there we go. One Robin making out of punches.